Hello lovies, hope all is well. If you are new here, I hope you like, subscribe, and take a peek at some of my content on my channel. Much appreciated. This channel covers topics from true crime, pop culture, and extreme sports. I know it's a bit chaotic, but I'm pretty random. Please be advised this video is for entertainment and or educational purposes only. Speculations may be discussed, but not suggested to be taken as fact. Please do your own research to make and come to your own conclusions. Feel free to keep the conversation going by commenting down below with your thoughts on this topic. The only rule I please ask to be followed is that you please be human, be kind. And while you're down there, do me a favor and hit that like button. That small little click goes a long way. If you'd be so kind and want to send me and puppers a coffee tip, puppuccino tip, or donation, we would be forever grateful. Donations go towards content research, supplies, programs, and other ways to keep this channel going. From my heart to yours, thank you. Ellen. Pompeo and Katherine Heigl spill the tea on Grey's Anatomy behind the scenes. Firefly Lane interview. Variety's actors on actors. I never thought I would see these two in the same room filming something together ever again. Here is what I learned and found out about the hit series Grey's Anatomy. They discussed how in the very beginning stages of filming season one that they were told to do trust falls. Now, if you don't know what a trust fall is, you should look up the movie Mean Girls and you will see examples of trust falls being done in this film at some point. Catherine Heigl threw Ellen Popeo her baby shower 13 years ago while they were in filming. So, I mean, many might not think that's very interesting, but I, to me, it sounds like they at one point were very close and I never really looked too much into the background of the celebrities of Grey's Anatomy and off air just never really occurred to me much until there was like a scandal that did eventually change everything. But before that, I never would have even realized if they were really close or not. Then they discussed how they are opposites in acting practices. Catherine said she would be so excited and anxious to watch when the episodes would air to see how it all came together. Meanwhile, Ellen said she barely watched the episodes in the filming in, in the beginning because it would bother her and put her in the wrong headspace as she was constantly filming and recording at the same time, which is understandable. The show was supposed to originally be called Complications. You know, it's fitting, but it's not very attractive, you know, to the viewers. So that didn't really go through. An executive at ABC almost slept on Shonda Rhimes, the creator, where the pilot of the show almost did not air and come to light. And then Catherine had said, 
oh, I think this person owns a vineyard in Napa. So there's like a little bit of inside jokes going there, little jabs. Euphoria was mentioned during this chat and Catherine went nuts saying she tried to watch that show and it was a hell no type of reaction that she gave. She did not seem to approve of it. Hmm. Now I really want to deep dive into Euphoria's creator, Sam, and his involvement in the taking over of The Weeknd's The Idol on HBO. Yeah, I think we're going to have a video coming up soon regarding that. They joked about saying they called Fridays uh, and Saturdays fratter days because they would just pretty much get loose and hang out, get wild, and then they have to film and they're like, uh, no one enjoys hangovers, but hey, they were young. Ellen eventually talks about her directing some episodes of Grey's and that she enjoys watching White Lotus and The Offer. I've never seen White Lotus, but there is an actress in that show that I absolutely loved her as Sutton um, in the show. I believe it was on Freeform. uh, The Bold Type. And apparently the show The Offer is in some sort of like mixture of the making of The Godfather. Justin Chambers, who is her co-worker and co-star in the past on Grey's, as Alex is in the show. She also says she is in the midst of trickery because Meredith's character isn't completely gone off the show. She plans to be in the final episode and do some visiting guest star episodes moving forward towards filming for a new show on Hulu. We have to remember and realize she's been playing Meredith Grey for so many years. So many seasons. Then they went into the topic of Firefly Lane, which is on Netflix. And I love it. I absolutely loved it. Now, disclaimer, spoiler alert. The ending of Firefly Lane is told and discussed during this interview. They also said they didn't read the second book as they did not film nor plan to continue the rest of the novel's narratives. And it has to tie in with, you know, the spoiler alert. Kate says she was intimidated by her character role of Tully. Tully is super confident and stands tall and proud. Kate added she was sad to let go of Tully as she enjoyed learning so much from that role. I can see Tully in her during this interview, and I'm totally here for it. I loved Firefly Lane, and honestly, everything Katherine Heigl has been in since, she was a young child actress. My Father the Hero. Oh, my God. I can, I've can. i watched that movie on VHS a million times, and yes, I do have it on DVD to this day. <laughs> I loved that movie. I think her name was Nikki in it and the whole the whole vibe of the the movie is it's supposed to be lighthearted, funny, young, sweet. I loved it. It's been a long time since I watched it, but it's a good one. Knocked up. She also had a show called State Affairs. It was short lived, but I enjoyed it very much. Grey's Firefly Lane. The movie 27 Dresses, The Ugly Truth, Wish Upon a Star, Life as We Know It, and so on. Oh, oh, and the movie Killers. It was a little cheesy, but I kind of liked it. They went into the deep details of Kate's departure from Grey's many years ago and how she was proud she spoke up but didn't expect a strong, bad reaction and ending. The healing after that took a bit, finding herself... Asking if she herself was difficult, like the media was reporting. I do remember that. They were saying she was hard to work with. She was toxic on set, um, demanding. But it seems like they were putting that narrative out there. Ellen jokes how Kate was way too early for her time because not too soon after, Twitter came out and everyone yells on their soapbox. The conversation goes real. And I was so happy to see it between these two. 
They kept it real that Ellen corrected Kate when she called herself sweet. Laughing together, she said a slew of co- compliments and adding that she was ballsy, which is why I think she played the role of Izzy and Tully perfectly. Towards the end, Kate makes a rant speech about standing your ground, and it was 100% Tully. Ellen looks concerned and wants to be careful seeing how emotional Kate is about the topic, tries to bring it all down, calm, to a smooth understanding. In closing, she said it was around eight years since they saw each other last, but randomly would keep in touch. They mentioned how they enjoyed this opportunity together, and it seemed pretty legit and genuine among each other. I felt this was a flawless and fitting actors on actors segment, definitely worth a full watch. I will link the video in the description down below. And when you go down there to check that out, do me a favor and like, subscribe, and leave a comment with what you thought about the interview, or tell me if you were a Grey's Anatomy fan. And if you remember that whole scandal that went on with Grey's Anatomy and her departure.